When pharmaceutical companies seek new drug regulatory approval, it isn't just the drug itself that undergoes scrutiny. Impurities that may arise from sources external to the drug product are also a key focus. The packaging the drug is stored in is a potential source of impurities that may migrate to the product and is therefore an important component that's studied as part of the approval process. The drug product container closure system, manufacturing process components, food contact material, and medical devices, such as those used in the storage and administration of the drug, should not release chemicals that can accumulate in quantities sufficient to present a risk of toxicity to the patient, consumer, user, or affect the drug's stability or efficacy. Consistent with regulatory expectations, a comprehensive evaluation should typically include a controlled extraction study and leachable assessments. Controlled extraction studies are material-based and are used to understand the extractable's profile of the material for the purposes of predicting potential leachables. Aggressive organic solvents, or solvent mixtures, acids and bases, are used with Soxlet, or solvent reflux, and other techniques to extract materials. Soxlet and reflux are both time-consuming manual processes at risk of cross-contamination. Also important to note is that the extraction conditions should not be so harsh as to deform or degrade the material of interest, which would affect the extractable profile. Typically, the extracts are then analyzed using various techniques, such as headspace, GCMS direct injection, GCMS, LC UVMS, LC CAD MS, and or ICP MS2 for volatile, semi-volatile, non-volatile, and inorganic species. The compounds that are present in the resulting extracts are called extractables. We study them to create a worst-case scenario and prediction of potential leachables to assist in materials selection and early risk assessment. Leachables are product-based compounds that have migrated into the drug product matrix under normal application or storage conditions. Leachables are sometimes classified as a subset of the extractables. We can perform forced or accelerated migration studies to assess for likely potential leachables that migrate under simulated environmental conditions. By analyzing drug formulations or simulation solvents after exposure to evaporated temperature, we can perform forced or accelerated migration studies to assess for likely potential leachables that migrate under simulated environmental conditions by analyzing drug formulations or simulation solvents after exposure to elevated temperature. However, if the leachable interacts with the drug product or packaging materials, new compounds can be present. These are termed secondary leachables. Drug formulations often contain buffers, surfactants, fillers, and other excipients. This complexity means that there are sometimes secondary leachables that only can be identified after long stability studies over the typical drug shelf life, which necessitates the requirement for untargeted analysis and the ability to retrospectively evaluate data. Taken together, this is known as extractables and leachables analysis. There are four main challenges you're likely to face when performing this type of analysis. Confident detection and quantification of unknowns. Lowering limits of detection and limits of quantification reducing analytical uncertainty factors, and being able to increase sample throughput while reducing manual errors and sources of contamination. Thermo Scientific offers a variety of tools that provide operational simplicity through hands-free operation and increased throughput capability to provide the right solution for ENL analysis. See how Thermo Scientific makes ENL analysis easier at thermofisher.com slash extractables and leachables. PPD, part of Thermo Fisher Scientific, is a leader in supporting ENL consulting, study design, and testing for the pharmaceutical industry, and can help design and conduct studies that support your product submission needs.